Sometimes I just go to the farmer's market on a Wednesday morning, that's when our local farmer's market is. And I just walk around and I look and I see what's there and then I decide on what I'm gonna make. A couple weeks ago, I did just that and I found all of these amazing ingredients. Corn, zucchini, onions, potatoes, striped bass, one of my favorites. And so I came up with this recipe. It's fish with chowder sauce. So it's basically like a corn and potato sauce for striped bass and clams. Really fun and delicious and super inspiring to me because I found all the ingredients at the market in one day. I'm starting off by sauteing an onion and a few cloves of garlic, so I'm dicing my onion. Corn chowder is one of my favorite soups, so I figured why not combine one of my favorite soups, corn chowder, with one of my all-time favorite fish, striped bass. But if you can't get striped bass, you can use anything that is a nice firm white fish. I have three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna slice those thinly. You can mince them, whatever your preference is. I like the way sliced garlic looks. The great thing about summer garlic, no sprout or very little sprout, so I don't even have to remove it. That's awesome. I'm also gonna need eight ounces of Yukon Gold or a white potato, so I have those, peel them. You don't need small ones, whatever it is, about eight ounces. It can be small, it can be one big one. In fact, the bigger ones are easier to peel, and since these are being cut into dice, why not just go ahead and get a bigger one? Half inch dice. I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I just love the flavor of butter here. You could certainly use olive oil if you preferred. I think this is a little more classic. Drawn butter, clams, you get it. Start off by sauteing the onions and garlic. Just for a few minutes till they get translucent. Oh, the smell of butter is so nice. I don't cook in butter very often. It sure does smell good though. Season now with just a little bit of salt, maybe about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you can season again at the end, but you wanna be careful because clams are actually quite salty. So you don't wanna over season in the beginning. <laughs> and you know, when I say that, I mean it. Salt palette, hi. Potatoes now. And then one and a quarter cups of chicken broth. You could also use clam broth if you wanted to, up to you. I like it to be not overwhelmingly clammy, so I'm using chicken. Then you just wanna simmer your potatoes for about five minutes. They take longer to cook than the other ingredients in the dish, so cover the pot, simmer it for five minutes, and while it's simmering, get your corn and your zucchini ready. I have one zucchini and two ears of corn. They're both gonna get added to the chowder sauce. Cut the zucchini into quarter inch rounds. I like to cut it in half first, and then into moons, but it's up to you, whichever you like. The potatoes do take a little bit longer to cook, which is why they're cooking now while I'm prepping these veg. I like to take advantage of all my time and ABP it up. Always be prepping. That's the key to efficient cooking. Remove the kernels from the cob. And if you're lucky, they'll fly all over the place because that'll mean that your corn is really fresh and not starchy. I tell myself that so that I don't get cranky when my corn is flying everywhere. If you wanted to, you could put the tip of the corn into the hole of a bunt pan and then cut your corn off the cob that way. That's supposed to catch all the kernels and not let them fly all over the place. I always feel like, why bother? Because I don't feel like washing another dish, but Maybe you prefer washing another dish to cleaning all the corn off your floor. <laughs> you choose. Now that the potatoes have cooked five minutes, it's time to add the clams. I have 12 really well scrubbed little neck clams. I prefer the smaller ones here. They take less time to cook and they take up less room in the pot because I have a lot of stuff that I want to add here. Cover this, cook it for six minutes. I just checked these and all my clams are open, which is a little insane because it was only a couple minutes and I don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to remove them and finish my dish. When we were testing this, the clams took like almost 10 minutes. So you kind of never know. You have to sort of roll with the punches, if you know what I mean. And if your clams were not open after six minutes, you would add the corn and zucchini and fish just like I'm going to do, but leaving the clams in. All right, so now add your corn, 
That last clam's not open yet. It may or may not open. Hopefully it will, which will mean that it isn't dead, but if it was dead, it won't open and I'll just get rid of it. It's so crazy that that happened. I'm baffled right now, people, baffled, but it's okay. Stir your corn and your zooks in. If your clams were not open, you'd wanna move them to the side because what you're gonna do now is add your fish. It's four striped bass fillets, about an inch thick. Sprinkle with a little bit of salt and then put the fish into the center of the pan. It would be surrounded by the clams, but there's no clams there now. Sort of nestle them in there. It's actually nice that the clams are done because there's plenty of room for the fish, but otherwise the clams would sort of all be around here, or you can move them slightly over the top. You wanna to make sure that there's a little bit of room between each filet so that the steam can rise up between them and fully cook them. Cover it back up, and it can take about two to five minutes for the fish to cook. It's been about three minutes. The final clam did open. The fish seems like it's almost done. I'm just gonna return these clams to the pan. So this is what they'd be like had your clams not opened in time, you could have surrounded them like this and then nestled your fish underneath. There you go. Cover this for like uh, just a few more seconds so that the clams heat through again. This shouldn't have gotten too cold. It's only been three minutes, right? And then sprinkle some basil on top. For waftability's sake, a little bit of basil. It goes really nicely with the corn and the zucchini. Dinner is ready. You're gonna wanna serve this in a bowl because there's some sauce underneath that you wanna get. Spoon it up nice and carefully. A little bit of clams, some zooks. Nice piece of delicious fish. You know what else would be really good in here? A nice piece of halibut. You could even use salmon, I guess, if you wanted to, but. Oh, God. Don't say goodbye to summer yet. I'm extending summer by making this dish for dinner tonight. Why don't you give it a try and tell me what you think? I you know you're if you don't love it, you have to stop watching these videos right now. This is my favorite dish of the entire year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.